Okay, so the first exercise we're gonna look at is just the simple five finger scale. So, that's what we're going to use to demonstrate. It's just a C major five finger scale. So it's from C to G, we're going up every note. And as we're playing, we're just making sure that our volume is the same with every single note that we play and we're keeping our fingers rounded and we're not really flicking away at the keys. We're keeping our, our hands pretty much stationary. And as we start to feel more comfortable, we can start to speed up uh, as we begin to feel better about just the, the motion of each finger. And of course, if you want to get really good at the piano, you need to also get your left hand in on it as well. So if you're practicing at home, I really recommend doing that with a metronome and go, starting off really, really slow so you have that technique totally grounded and you're confident at like 60 BPM. And then when you're feeling good about that, bump it up five to 10 BPM each time. And eventually you can get up to 120 BPM, 140 BPM. The sky's the limit for how fast you wanna go with these exercises, but it's really gonna pay off enormously to start slow. The second exercise we wanna look at is something that's going to help build the thumb tuck. And the thumb tuck is a big sticking point for people who want to play fast. So we're going to just play the F major scale up one octave. And if we start super slow, we can examine this point here, because this is sort of where you're gonna make a mistake in your fast runs if you're going to make one. So this is the thumb tuck moment where we have to bring our thumb underneath to play that C and then reposition. Whenever you are practicing any of these exercises that have that thumb tuck uh, moment in the scale or arpeggio, take special time and consideration to make sure that that is as smooth a motion as possible. You don't wanna be winging your arm out like that. You wanna keep your hand pretty much right above the keys as you're playing them and your thumb tuck is just one motion among all the other motions in the scale. So you're kind of moving up with the tempo and bringing your hand over, just like that. So starting off really slow is gonna help make sure that's nice and tight. And of course, play in the left hand too. And then if you want to get really good, both hands together. So another exercise that's really, really fun is the blues scale. And the reason why the blues scale is so fun to practice and get fast at is because a lot of times if you're playing like a blues solo or something, uh, or you're listening to the blues, you'll hear a blues scale in a recording or a performance, and it sounds awesome when it's played fast. So this is an F blues scale right here. So the F blues scale is really, really cool because it actually only has three fingers that you need to play. You have one, two, three, and then you cross your thumb over. Just like that. So my notes are F, A flat, B flat, then I cross my thumb over to land on B, C, E flat, cross thumb over again, and you can just keep on doing that. So that one's really fun because it's really musical uh, and it's, it's really, really easy to apply to a song when you're ready to do that. And the final exercise that we're gonna look at is the arpeggio. And the arpeggio is another really important thing to prioritize in your practice if you wanna get fast because it has that super thumb tuck. So an F major arpeggio sounds like this.
So it's just containing the notes of the F major triad, F, A, C, and then F up top. But unlike a scale that has just that small little thumb tuck, that's a really small little jump, the F major arpeggio has a huge thumb tuck. It's got this thumb tuck all the way from our C note up a fourth interval to our F, so just like this. So this is a really great exercise for expanding your accuracy and your range of musicality across the piano because you can go up multiple octaves very, very quickly. So again, make sure you're practicing super slow and you're thinking about this moment here those moments where you reset for the new octave. Okay, so that's four great finger speed exercises to use. Remember to start slow, bump your tempo up by five to 10 BPMs at most as you're working faster, and think about the moments in your exercises that are kind of the sticking points, where you might screw up. They're usually the times where you have to reset your hand. So the thumb tucks, the times where you gotta tuck finger three over, times where you got to reset to the new octave. These are all moments to really zero in on as you're practicing. So have fun with the finger speed. Hope you're racing around in no time and be sure to check us out for more lessons. We'll see you